how was uh, how was endless mimosa brunch? It's my favorite time of the year. <laughs> yes, I love that attitude. Um, my name is Jamie Averwater. I'm class of 2013 and a proud member of the Web School Alumni Board. Very excited to be this year's alumni reunion chair and the um, inappropriately called mistress of ceremonies. Um, <laughs> Still working on that title. <laughs> First, I'd like to say welcome to all of you for joining us here in Bell Buckle. You've come from far away and some of us pretty close, and so thank you for making the journey and joining us here on Webb's campus. Uh, I would like to, if, if most of us are done eating, I would like to recognize a few members of our community. First, if you're a, a Web School Board of Trustees member, could I please have you stand so that we can thank you for all of your hard work. Yay! Also to our alumni board who work tirelessly to make sure the swag on campus is always <laughs> fantastic. Where are my alumni board members? Of course, to our class agents, our volunteers, and our alumni and development office, you guys are awesome helping make this year's reunion a success. So thank you. Uh, First and foremost, as always, if we could have a brief moment of silence in memory of our community members who we've lost since last year's reunion, you'll find it inside of your pamphlet that you picked up at registration. So please bow your heads for that moment of silence. And on that note, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, without further ado, you're all here to see Head of school, Ken Cheeseman, give uh, the most iconic speech of all time. He says it's, it's very good this year, so. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stage, head of school, Ken Cheeseman. She is putting the pressure on me. Uh, so Jamie, we thank you for your leadership uh, at the web school. And many of you probably know this, but Jamie is also uh, newly elected Murfreesboro City Council member. So, congratulations. We love that Webb leadership, so thank you. Well, welcome back to Webb. Uh, for those of you, particularly those of you who haven't been on campus for a long time, and welcome back to our beloved Bell Buckle. I'm glad that uh, you have such a beautiful afternoon um, for us to enjoy time together. So I'm hopeful that you will enjoy this place that I hope has very special memories for you. I'm hopeful that you are encouraged by the fellowship with your people, your classmates, your former faculty. I'm hopeful that you can reflect fondly on what experiences you had here that helped you flourish in life beyond web. I'm grateful you're here. And I look forward to meeting those of you whom I have not yet had the pleasure of meeting. Well, clearly, uh, much has changed on campus since many of you graduated. One manifestation of which is you can just look around uh, the physical plant and see that uh, we, we've made some improvements and changes over the years. Another aspect of Web that has changed is the makeup of the student body. We now have a much more diverse student body than many of you experienced during your years at Webb. We have students from 17 different states in the United States, 23 different countries, and five different continents. So in real ways, much of the world is here in Bell Buckle, adding much vibrancy to our community. Part of our responsibility as the current leaders and the current stewards of Webb is to understand the world we now inhabit and peer into the future to attempt to understand the world that our graduates will inherit and tweak our programming to effectively engage those worlds. But another important part of our responsibility as current leaders and current stewards of Web is to understand the most important core values of Web and sustain them in our current climate. As most of you know, we have been working hard to put together a new strategic plan. Part of that process is surveying, holding listening sessions, focus groups, 
And from that information and many conversations uh, at the board level and with faculty and leadership, several core values have risen to the top. And I think these will resonate with you as we think about our strategic future together. One, the pursuit of academic excellence remains a core value at the Webb School. The formation of strong character informed by many of our enduring understandings all of you alums can probably say these without even thinking about it. Honor, integrity, self-discipline, respect, responsibility. These inform character at the Webb School, and we continue to hold those to be sacrosanct. We also continue to talk about, think about, mold and shape effective and selfless leadership. These remain our chief aims, even as we peer into the future. The vision statement that has come out of the strategic planning work says that Webb aspires to develop future global leaders who pursue excellence through academics, the arts, and athletics with character above all else. And as we've recovered, recovering from the pandemic and are pivoting to a very diverse and dynamic future, we have enjoyed some historic strategic highs at the school. We have one of the most diverse student populations in the state of Tennessee, and our enrollment has grown. Pre-pandemic numbers in 2019, we were at 296 students. We opened this year with 426. The growth has allowed us to have a much more full complement of students in many programs. Strings programs, the plays, academic and athletic teams. And this has added much energy and school spirit to our community. To be sure though, it adds pressure to many aspects of our physical plan that coincides, and this probably won't be a surprise to any of you, with some of our bu buildings that are aging a bit and slipping out of market expectations. These truths and opportunities have found their way into our emerging strategic plans that the board, the leadership team, and the faculty have co-labored to develop over these last 18 months. As we look forward together, I offer some highlights of the strategic plan that was ratified just yesterday by the Board of Trustees. There are four pillars in the strategic plan. Pillar number one, pursuing excellence in teaching and learning. As a faculty and leadership team, we must reanalyze what skills and content our students need to master to thrive and lead in a very dynamic and challenging future. We also must re-examine how we teach these skills and concepts in ways that ensure our students independently own them after they graduate from Webb. So it's the skills and the pedagogy that we need to look forward to. Second pillar, promote sustainability across all aspects of the community. In each area of school life, from the admission office to the business office, to residential life, to attracting and retaining the most excellent faculty, to the physical plan, inclusive of a comprehensive master plan that has just been created, to the stewardship of our environment. To nearly every other area of school life, we need to develop and operationalize detailed plans with the goal that the Webb School will be relevant and sustainable long into the future. The third pillar, design an overall student experience that strengthens character while exploring unique gifts and capacities. We will focus on offerings that are outside of core academics like afternoon and weekend programming, clubs, summer classes, camps, travel opportunities, service learning, and others. To give our students an opportunity to really understand their particular gifts and sharpen them while strengthening character. Not just our current students, but also programming that will attract and retain the best and brightest students into the future. The fourth pillar is to create a deeper sense of belonging by clarifying Webb's diversity, equity, and inclusion purposes. Webb has long been a diverse community, 
and we want to provide pathways for intentionally listening to and incorporating the voices and perspectives of our diverse population into the fabric of our community while maintaining our core values that I mentioned earlier. So with that, thank you for coming back. Thank you for your support and your encouragement. I look forward to talking with each of you about these plans and hearing more about your experiences at the web school. So enjoy the day and go feet. With that, the always entertaining and energetic Hudson Bird. Thank you, Ken, and good morning. On behalf of the alumni board, I want to welcome all alumni, faculty, and staff. Thank you so much for being here today. I am happy to give the annual report and say that the Webb School Alumni Board has been busy and our work is as important as ever. Members of the Alumni Board span over six decades of the Webb experience and share one goal, collectively working to represent the 3,000 plus living alumni of the Webb School. For a little background, the Alumni Association was founded in 1920. Since then, we have not been a policy-making board, but rather a working board. Our mission is to strengthen alumni engagement, enhance the student experience, and highlight those that make the Webb School a premier educational institution. If you are a current alumni board member, please stand and be recognized. We're out there somewhere. Thank you. Now, if you have previously served on the alumni board, please stand and be recognized. As you can tell, the schools have a lot of help from those individuals. <laughs> Events like today are made possible by the never-ending work of those fostering and maintaining connections with Web alumni. There are over 100 class agents who work alongside the alumni board to make our annual reunion a reality. Much of our success with reunion is due to their efforts. If you are currently a class agent, please stand and be recognized for your tireless efforts. Thank you. While we have been involved in several initiatives over the last year, let me share with you some of the highlights of our current efforts. Firstly, we are connecting with graduates. In our recent years, we have greatly improved our communication with recent graduates with the Young Alumni Program. This has been a great success and we have regularly, and we regularly have greater than 75% engagement with these classes. We ask recent graduates to provide feedback on how well Webb prepares them for their college experience. Needless to say, Webb students routinely remark that they exceed their peers in academics. Secondly, we are connecting with current students. Once a year, we invite several students to an alumni board meeting to share insights of their Webb experience. From this, we can grasp a student's perspective and see how well a Webb education compares with the other schools in our area. At each of these meetings, we are always impressed by the quality of the students and the quality of instruction they are receiving, not to mention our unique environment that stands alone among our peers. Another main focus of our work is with our graduating seniors. The Webb School Alumni Board supports Senior Blazer Day and the Senior Luncheon. In addition, we also fund the annual senior gift so each student can leave Webb with a useful memento on their way to college. One other exciting opportunity is our collaboration with the admissions office. We have been working closely with, with them to contact parents of students that have chosen to attend the Webb School. Through these conversations, we have gained valuable insight and get to hear firsthand the unique edge Webb has over our competition, our history, our ethical code, our faculty community, and our setting here in Bellbuckle. As a continuing project, the Alumni Board and the Class Agent Committee are always trying to identify notable alumni who have distinguished themselves. I would encourage you to check with the school's website and review the list. If you have any suggestions, please let a member of the Alumni Board know, or you can call the A&D office directly. 
I also want to recognize the class agent committee for the work they do alongside class agents. They greatly help energize attendance for this weekend and assist class agents who are celebrating their honored years. On a personal note, I have served on the alumni board for several years, although I'm getting, getting a loose count. Um, and the growth of our involvement has, has been great to see, as well as the growth attended, as well as the growth of attended to many of the school events, especially reunion. After a lengthy pandemic, we are all happy to be back on schedule. While I may serve as president now, none of this would be possible without the work of those who previously held my position. And of course, the work that so many members of the alumni board do that goes unseen. Thank you. I also want to extend a special thank you to Jonathan Hawkins, who keeps the ball rolling on many fronts. Thank you. Who, who keeps the ball rolling on many fronts and is kind enough to remind me of things I have overlooked, which from time to time does occur. It goes without saying that the entire a and team deserve an enormous amount of credit. Thank you for all you do. I will add that if you're interested in joining the alumni board, please let us know. We are always looking for additions to our depth chart and are excited to bring more passionate and engaged alumni into our ranks. We are, we are just one way you can give back to the web school. Please pardon me if this has gotten a little long-winded. I too have been where you are and fallen asleep out there once or twice before. <laughs> I speak to all of us when I say that we are excited to have so many alumni back on campus. Please enjoy your day. On behalf of the Web School Alumni Board, thank you. Thank you, Hudson. It is my pleasure now to uh, introduce the latest inductee to the Distinguished Alumni Society. Before I talk about the society and this recipient, uh, I just want to mention, I think back to my interview um, when I was going through the head of school process. And one of the things that was quite attractive uh, to me about the web school was the level of alumni engagement. Um, it is fantastic and we thank you uh, for helping us uh, internally be our best by your support. So this Distinguished Alumni Society recognizes and honors those alumni who demonstrate outstanding leadership beyond the web community. Membership in the Distinguished Alumni Society is awarded by the Alumni Board and the Board of Trustees. Members of the Distinguished Alumni Society include web alum who through personal commitment, work ethic and service have achieved significant success in their professional careers and have made outstanding contributions to their communities, demonstrating Sawney's vision of bringing honor to themselves and to the web school. This year's recipient is not here in person. He and his wife uh, have a family wedding, so they could not be here. But uh, the inductee, whom you will hear from via video in just a moment, is Mr. Jeff Lorberbaum, class of 1972. So Jeff is the CEO and chairman of the board of Mohawk Industries, which uh, he has built into the largest flooring company in the world uh, with a presence in multiple continents. Um, Jonathan and I went down to Dalton to the Mohawk headquarters and to their studios where we did this video and spent an afternoon with Jeff. Uh, it was fascinating talking with him and talking about how he has led this company and grown this company um, over a long period of time. And so I think you will enjoy uh, hearing from Jeff. With that, let's go ahead and cue up the video. Greetings to our web school family. I am here today to make an important presentation and honor an outstanding web alumnus. On behalf of the Distinguished Alumni Society, the Alumni Board, and the Board of Trustees of the Web School, I am pleased to recognize Mr. Jeff Lorberbaum, Class of 1972, as the 2022 inductee into the Distinguished Alumni Society. 
One of the most prestigious honors that the Webb School conveys, it recognizes and honors those alumni who demonstrate outstanding leadership beyond the Webb School community. Members of the Distinguished Alumni Society include Webb alumni who, through personal commitment, work ethic, and service, have achieved significant success in their professional careers and have made outstanding contributions to their communities, demonstrating our Founders' vision of bringing honor to themselves and to the Webb School. Mr. Lorberbaum's leadership has been transformative, both for the entire Mohawk industry family and the Aladdin Mills family before that. Reflecting the kind of accurate scholarship, hard and effective work, and character of which Sawney himself would be quite proud. Mr. Lorberbaum has led Mohawk Industries to more than triple its revenues, which now stand in excess of $11 billion from 2001 to 2021. This extraordinary growth has benefited the company, its shareholders, and its talented and dedicated employees. Mohawk employs more than 43,000 people around the globe. One in every 10 has been in the company for more than 25 years. This kind of record over such a long period of time is the legacy of Mr. Lorberbaum's exceptional leadership skills. Clearly, he has made a hugely positive impact across the globe, and in the words of Sony, has pedigreed his own Lorberbaum family and the Webb family quite well. Congratulations, Jeff, on being named the 2022 inductee into Webb's Distinguished Alumni Society. We are proud of you and grateful for your influence. I'd like to invite you to say a few words to our Webb School family at this time. Thank you, Mr. Cheeseman. When I include this honor with all the other awards I've received at Webb, they add up to a grand total of exactly one. So I'm particularly proud of this recognition. That places significant pressure on me since if I don't perform well, you might rescind it. When I learned I've been selected as a distinguished alumnus, I assumed you'd evaluated my life after graduation. For years, I was convinced that Webb's mandatory study halls had been instituted solely for me. The Webb curriculum was really advanced, and I even took some courses at the college in Murfreesboro. During my first year at the University of Denver, I knew I'd been well prepared because I was reviewing all the courses I had taken here. The good news was that since I had more time to socialize, I'd met my wife, Sarah. She's been completing the refinements I needed over the last 45 years. It's still a work in progress. To be completely candid, what I recall most about my years at Webb has less to do with the classroom and more to do with growing up and new experiences. No one had told me about common showers and bathrooms before I arrived. It was sort of how I imagined army life, just without the danger. Having a roommate was another new experience. I wrote to my parents and advised them that if I went missing, my roommate could be a prime suspect. I'm sure he probably did the same thing. When I attended Webb, Bell Buckle was tiny. It was so small the town zip code only had three digits. The only place to eat was a lunch counter in someone's basement. But there was a laundromat in town, the importance of which was reinforced after my first game of playing football in the mud in front of our dorm after a heavy rainstorm. When you're down to one clean outfit, you quickly learn how to wash your own clothes and become more independent. I was really skinny back then because I didn't arrive with a particularly open mind about new food. The cafeteria was a nice place and I didn't mind help setting the tables. I just didn't like many things they served. So 50% of what I ate was peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which is the only cuisine I ever managed to master in my life. I mentioned I wasn't particularly scholarly at the time, but one academic area where I did excel was math. I liked solving problems, not memorizing details. I had good math teachers, and one was so good that my dad hired him to work for the family business. I seem to recall the headmaster asking my dad, do you know how hard it is to find people with those skills? My father replied, of course. That's why I hired him. Math came pretty easy to me, but the other subjects were more difficult. Webb pushed us to fulfill our potential, though I'm not sure we always saw it that way. One year they sent us on an out-of-class learning experience called Outward Bound. 
For a few weeks, we stayed in the mountains of North Carolina and went mountain climbing and belaying. It taught us not to be limited by our own fears or the fears of others. Our last assignment was a 50 mile hike through the woods in small groups. The counselors gave us a map and large backpacks that I swear were stuffed with bricks. We used the map to find where the trail crossed a road. We switched from hiking to hitchhiking. The counselors thought it was funny since our only instructions had been to reach the destination. We were just slightly more creative than they had expected. I can see the headmaster shaking his head, so my brief tenure of being distinguished may already be at an end. In preparing my remarks, I recall moments from my youth that hadn't crossed my mind in many years. I'm not sure any of us fully realized what an advantage our time at Webb would be as we progressed through life. Schools must reinforce the link between learning and future opportunity to open young minds. They must prepare them for a world that will be very different than the one they know today. Innovation and creativity come from stepping off the beaten path and trying things that others can't envision in life. Webb is here to establish that foundation to reinvent the future. Mr. Cheeseman, I appreciate this recognition. I'm proud to be a member of Webb's class of 72. I extend my best wishes to all of Webb's alumni, faculty, and students. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'll put it with the rest of my awards. Well done. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jeff was right. I was getting nervous hearing about the hitchhiking. <laughs> the risk manager in me was on high alert. Well, we appreciate uh, Jeff and all that he has done, and we enjoyed our time with him. We're now ready to move on to our John B. Harden Service Award winner. Um, and Matt Wilson is gonna come up and make the introduction. Matt, many of you know, uh, has been with the Web School for over a decade, uh, but he has made a transition and created his own consulting firm and we are one of his clients now instead of uh, Matt being a full-time employee for the web school. So he is helping uh, me and A&D with some of our work, particularly with Major Gifts. He's also um, continuing to be an assistant coach with the, the web uh, skeet team. And so you'll see him around. But with that, uh, please join me in welcoming Matt Wilson. seen that before actually and it's not easy to do comedy and have such heartfelt so he did a great job so um, the purpose of the John B Harden service award is to recognize and honor those alumni and members of the community who have consistently contributed an exceptional amount of time and talent to web and whose efforts benefit students enhance campus life and reaffirm the commitment of the web community to the school so I'd like to thank Ollie Wong for asking me to introduce him as the Harden service award recipient in 2022 and for those of you i've been to china a couple times some of the words i use i'm going to try and use the the chinese way of saying it so if it sounds a little bit different than the way we say it over here i'm doing my best you'll hear me try at the end to say a chinese phrase as well but some of that's just ollie helping me and others so here we go um i also want to thank everybody who's here it's great to see so many wonderful trustees alumni friends uh, faculty and staff in the audience and also want to acknowledge uh, Bill Harden who is class of 79 trustee and also nephew of John Harden class of 50 uh, for whom this award is named. Over the past six years Ali Wong class of 2009 has served in many volunteer roles. He's been helping our alumni and development office with outreach in China, been a key liaison with our Chinese Parents Association, served on our alumni board, and now is one of the newest members of the Board of Trustees. He is definitely a tireless worker, and he is someone who finds joy in the honor of serving others. He is very deserving of the Hardened Service Award. Ollie was one of the first graduates of Webb who hailed from China. He attended two years and then went on to Cornell University. 
His degree in 2013 was a double major in management and food science. After college, he returned to China to lead his family-owned seafood business. The company he has with his family is quite successful, processing about 20 million pounds of seafood a year to numerous countries, including the U.S. He is married to Lisa Gao. One might say Ollie is a classic example of how one person can make a difference at Webb. In 2016, Ollie emailed me that he was hoping to fly from his home city of Dalian to Beijing for a Webb social event in China. While he ultimately could not make the event because of a flight delay, his enthusiasm was remarkable. We talked about getting together in Bell Buckle the next time he came to the U.S. for business. In March of 2017, Ollie visited Webb and he got to see a host of his favorite teachers and staff, including Sandy Truitt, who I think is in the back there, Mrs. Truitt, and uh, Julie Harris and Jeff Mitchell. I remember how Ollie talked about his time at Webb, high academic standards, a caring community, and a way of life that complemented his experiences in China. He found at Webb that there are others who appreciate him for who he is. That is something that we hope all our students find. After Ollie's visit, he offered to volunteer if we needed assistance. Quickly, he became the one to help us translate materials into Chinese, to provide advice to us to help understand nuances in culture, and even translate Chinese and English in meetings with individual families. Having gone with the former head of school, Ray Broadhead, and Ollie on many fundraising calls in China, I can tell you Ollie is very good at this. Like, he'll take something I'll say like 15 words and say three words, and I'll be like, wow. <laughs> and I know he's saying what I said. He didn't, you know, come up with something else. I've learned a lot from Ollie and appreciate the positive attitude he has in everything he does. Ollie's dedication to service includes being flexible and generous with his time, even the 12 or 13 hour time difference. Uh, Jonathan Hawkins and I have been on many Zoom calls in the morning here in Bell Buckle and in the evening in China, 12 hours difference, the past two years. And I think he was on the Zoom call, some folks told me, with the board until like 2 a.m. just yesterday. So Ollie has mastered how to stay up past midnight and travel. If you ask him, he, he's even figured something out so he doesn't get jet lag. One last notable mention of Ollie's service occurred in the fall of 2020. It was Ollie who organized and sponsored an event in Beijing for families when we could not travel to China. The dinner brought the local community together in Beijing and Shanghai, and thanks to the Zoom, simultaneously gave us a chance to interact with them and they to interact with web school leaders. Ollie is trusted by many to help when questions arise and he's very skilled at finding the right resource. Ollie is a tremendous ambassador who strengthens Webb in so many ways. Webb is fortunate to be able to count Ollie as an alumnus and now a trustee. It is my privilege to congratulate Ollie Wong and I'm going to say this in Chinese. Ju he Ollie Wong xie xie, which is congratulations Ollie Wong. Thank you. Thank you, Max, for introducing me, and thank you, Webb, for the great honor. Among all the rewards I have got so far in my life, this is indeed the most special one to me. It's so special because it is not about academic excellence, not about sports or arts, and not about accomplishments in career. Honestly, I never could have imagined that I could get any acknowledgement related to service to the community. And the reason is simple. I had been a mean person for almost half of my life so far, and it all changed in one English class at Webb. So today I would like to share this story of mine with you. I hope my story can inspire many of you with similar life ex experience as mine. I want you to know that no matter what life had been before you come to Webb, and even if you had been disliked by everyone else around you, Webb is the place to find love and warmth, and it's never too late to show your kindness back to this loving community. Well, for those of you who are already with a kind heart and are doing much for the community, you may take time for a nap. Take that as your reward. I grew up in a very competitive environment, mostly from the school and the society, before I came to Web. In my childhood, at my age, from my hometown, all kids had one arch enemy called the child from the neighbor. I'm not sure if they still do that now, but if some Chinese students who's listening to this speech are laughing, then I'm sure they still do. Now the reason for that is that teachers 
parents, and even some strangers on the street would always compare us to some other kids from the neighborhood and say, look how well that guy is doing and look at you. If you don't do better than him or her, as you grow up, you will be so poor and he or she will be so rich. <laughs> I'm both luckier and unluckier than many other kids. I happen to be the kid from the neighbor. So as you can imagine, all the kids around me hated me. Even though I do something nice for them, all I get back is a cold look back. One boy once even said to me, to my face, did you do that just to pity me as the future rich guy? I mean, as a child, that really hurts. And I stopped being nice to others after that. And looking back, I had been a pretty mean person up until my middle school. My life-changing experience happened in one English class a few days after I came to web in my junior year. That day, my English teacher back then, Mr. Newman, casted a quite hard question at the end of the class. And it turned out I was the only one in the classroom who knew the answer. However, with all my past experiences, I decided to remain silent. Since I expected that if I shouted the answer out loud, all I could get would be the cold eyes from others, just as before. Time started to go by and several students gave out many different answers, but none was correct. To encourage us to think, Mr. Newman said that as soon as we got the correct answer, we could get out of the classroom right away. <laughs> well, now at least I, get, I can get something for the cold eyes. With that in mind, I set out the correct answer and we got out of the classroom five minutes early. And that was my life-changing moment. To my greatest surprise, I became the hero of the class of the day. Everyone came to me with a smile, thank, or encouragement. That was the first time I realized that in a caring community, when I do something kind or proud, instead of getting cold eyes and jealousy, I could actually be the proud of the team and make all of us happy. That was the day when I set up my mind to be a kind person, to bring proud to this caring community, and to give back to it as much as I can. So that's my journey to the path of being kind. And that's also one of the most important things I have learned from web. We all have a candle of kindness deep in our heart, and it just takes a caring and loving community to light it up. Lastly, if all my story still does not touch you, let me tell you one more secret. Being a kind person actually comes with a reward more substantial than happiness. See this beautiful lady in the picture? I don't know how many animals she has rescued, but I know for sure that she would never have married me if I was still the mean guy 20 years ago. So the last takeaway is that Keep being nice, and your prince or princess is just waiting ahead. Thank you all. <laughs> all right, I'm so glad you all got to hear from Ollie directly. He wishes he could have been here, and hopefully he will be here soon in the future, coming back uh, for various things that he's done. Over the years, he'll be um, delighted to meet many of you in person. All right, so congratulations to our 2022 Hardin Service Award recipient and our Distinguished Alumni Society inductee. And I'd like to thank Mr. Cheeseman for all you do and ask you to come back up. And you're going to recognize our 50th reunion class, which is a special class. And I know that they're excited to receive Golden Guard pins. Mr. Cheeseman. Thank you, Matt. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. The class of 1972. Congratulations to the Golden Guard. So, if the class of 1972 would please all come forward and Jonathan and I will give you your Golden Guard pin. Come on up.
right, class of 72. Miss Mitchell's trying to get your picture, so let's get organized there. Congratulations, class of 1972, and uh, I look forward to spending a little more time with you later on tonight. Thank you all for being here, and Jamie Averwater is going to come up and close out with a couple of special awards. So, welcome Jamie back. City Council. I am the youngest woman elected in Murfreesboro. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes. So if you want to help raise a new generation of politicians, donate to the Webb School. And uh, <laughs> I think I think we have some uh, envelopes sitting around somewhere. Uh, each person here is a representative of the Webb School, and I am so grateful to be among you. Webb played a huge part in my campaign. I wore it proudly. And, uh, and I think without everything I learned at Webb, I would not be where I am today. So thank you to all the teachers and all of my classmates who supported me along the way. Um, okay, so now we have some awards to give out. Uh, the Buford Gordon Oldest Alumni Award goes to Dr. Paul Stum, class of 1952. Yeah, Dr. Stum. to call you out, Dr. Stum. Thank you. <laughs> now for our Outstanding Traveler Award. This year's winner traveled 2,500 miles from the state of Washington to be with us here today. Carl Turner, the class of 1972. <laughs> I will say the class of 1972 is really uh, representing this year's reunion, which is why, uh, if you would please return to the stage, because you received the class attendance award. <laughs> that keep our alumni engaged. So if you are a class agent, will you please come forward so that we can thank you with a special award this year? Class agents, where are you? Get up here. Come on, Ted. Come on, 
Thank you guys for coming. 